today's video is going to be a super detailed video on how I bleach my knots. I have a few videos like this, but I thought I would just update you guys because sometimes I get those questions. How do you bleach your knots or how do you make your lace look natural or skin-like? And it's like I do have tutorials like this, but I guess as they get older, people who come in newer don't realize that I have these tutorials. So as long as you guys ask for them, I'll continue to update you guys and keep you guys in the note of how I bleached my knots. I'm also, I'm also gonna style this hair on camera as well. This is kind of a lazy way. I basically did some twists, but I kind of rushed it and I think it still came out kind of cute. So if you're interested in seeing how I bleached my knots, how I styled this hair and got this baby hair look, stay tuned. Before we even get into the video, make sure you hit that like button and let me know that you like this video. That way the more you guys like it, the more I know you like it and that way I'll do more videos like this. Now back to the tutorial. Okay, let's jump right into it. This is the packaging for Wig Encounters. It comes with a nice sales card. Um, there is a wig cap in there and then of course your beautiful wig. This is a full lace wig. So there's the lace literally everywhere. Three combs in the front, one in the back, and adjustable straps. Um, I'm going to be cutting out that comb in the center just because when you part in the center that little comb is going to be right there in the middle of your lace and it's going to kind of look a little bit funky so i'm going to take it out make sure that you're careful if you do this step um, and focus on cutting the thread and staying away from the lace so you don't make a hole um, now I'm gonna cut the lace I'm not gonna cut the lace completely off I'm gonna cut off say like about half of it um, just so that it'll be easier to get to the lace now I'm gonna take a piece of foil i am got all my supplies we're gonna start with some BW bleach I'm gonna put about maybe two scoops if you're gonna bleach the knots with a whole lace um, use like five scoops this is my 40 volume developer I always use a 40 and you just add it in gradually until you get a nice thick paste. You don't want it runny, you don't want it clumpy, you want it nice and smooth and perfect. I'm gonna add a little bit of purple hair dye from Adore, I'll have it linked down below. And this is gonna help to cancel out the orange brassiness sometimes you get. Uh, I threw on some gloves and I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into applying the um, bleach mixture to my lace if you're not going to use those other combs on the side which i never do you can take those combs off too um, i've never taken them off but i just realized that maybe i should start because i never ever use those because they're too far back to um like grip to my hair if that makes any sense but um just go ahead and apply it you don't want to push the product into the lace because if you push it into the lace it's going to seep through the lace and onto the roots of your hair and it's going to look a little bit weird you kind of just want to pat it on lightly but you just want to make sure it's there um this is a full lace wig so if you want to bleach the knots like all the way around you can um i chose not to i just wanted the top front to look good basically where it would be like a lace frontal to look good and I feel like the rest will still look natural and seamless as well when styled so I let that sit on for about 20 minutes and now um, you kind of like pull the hair apart and look through the scalp and you see if the knots are still black and if they're not go ahead and rinse it all out try to rinse it on cool to cold water cool water is preferable um i have a bad habit of using hot water always just because i hate cold water um but cool water is always best and i'm gonna get a little bit close up and show you how bomb that looks you cannot tell me that does not look good now if you feel like it's a little too orange oh let me show you so where you see um, behind, that was also lace, but it's a little bit different texture of lace than the front. So I didn't even try to bleach those knots because there's a little bit of a fabric in the back that won't allow you to. Here you see me um, washing the hair with purple shampoo. I did let that sit on for about 10 minutes to help with a little bit of that oranginess that I got because I did accidentally leave my bleach on a little bit too long. I forgot. Now I'm going to go ahead and condition the hair. I always let my conditioner sit on for about 15 minutes like while I clean up or whatever. And this just helps to make sure that your curls are popping. If you are dealing with like curly hair, body wave hair, any kind of hair for that matter, it's just going to help make it easier to work with. Um, 15 minutes later, I came back um, and rinsed that conditioner out. The hair is perfectly beautiful and soft and has a nice luster. So this is the perfect time to go ahead and detangle in case you got any tangles in the process. And voila. 
Now, I think the lace is going to look perfect on me, but if the lace is a little bit too light for you, this is the perfect time to go ahead and color your lace. You can use tea or you can use fabric dye. Let me know if you want to see an updated tutorial on how I do that. Now I'm in my groove. I let the hair air dry for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, I didn't want it to completely dry because I was anxious to put it on and get this video ready for you guys. But of course, be wary that you do want your cap to dry as much as possible. Um, here I'm showing you how awesome the lace bleached or the knots bleached rather super beautiful and because it's a full lace wig look how much parting space there's unlimited parting space you can take it all the way back um i'm gonna start i think i'm gonna start with the baby hair so it is pre-plucked if it's not pre-plucked enough for you um there's no rule that says that you can't go on go in and pluck it anymore but i'm just gonna work with what they gave and i'm going right in i'm gonna do some twists this was unplanned, but at this point I was like, hmm, how can I show the lace off? Like, I got a full lace wig in. Let me show it off. And I'm just going to secure it with some bobby pins. I'm not the best at this style, but I kind of think this is one of those styles that it's okay if it's not, like, perfectly twist. But if you want to do the style and you want it perfectly, maybe you can put the wig on the mannequin head. I think that would help me to make the twist a little bit more perfect. But like I said, I kind of like it like this. I was going to just do two, but I said, you know what, we got all this lace. We're going to do four, but first we're going to do the baby hair. So I'm not going to add any more baby hair. It came with some already ready. I'm going to just trim it maybe like right above my brows. I'm going to use some Got To Be Glued Ultra. Um, and I like to use my fingers to apply it along the perimeter of the lace. When this dries, this is going to be a way to secure the wig because once it dries, it's going to pretty much stick to... Um, your head and I'm just gonna take my fingers and my comb and kind of just make the baby hair now sometimes my hair my baby hair comes out like really 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 good and sometimes I just can't get it right I think it's all about practice practice take your time if it don't look good today go to bed take a nap try again tomorrow eventually you will get it Now, I, like I said before, I added two more twisties along the side. These are a little bit thinner than the two in the center, so if you want them to be perfectly, um, you know, even, I guess you would say, do that. It's, it's all completely up to you. Now, I liked the way it looked just doing the twisty straight back and letting the hair hang, but I think that because I did do... Um, such a short length or because it's short it kind of stuck out a little bit funky you'll see in a second like how you see how um behind me the hair kind of sticks out a little bit if the wig was longer it would look good but it kind of was weird so i figured it needed to go into a ponytail and then the ponytail kind of looked kind of funky to me too because it was so low so you're gonna see that I'm gonna end up just doing a nice cute little bun and that turned out perfectly. But you can do a bunch of different styles. Like you can go ahead and take it all back into one ponytail. You can twist it and do two French braids in the back or two buns in the back. You can do whatever you want. Even this bun here was a little bit funky so you're gonna see I'm gonna fix the bun um, in a second. Like that was kind of cute, but I feel like it would look better if it was longer. So I'm just going to twist it. That didn't look right. So I wanted it a little bit more wet looking. So I'm going to take my wet styling product and kind of moisten up that baby here. Them sideburns and a little bit of the hair as well. And then we're going to take and just twist it all the way down. And then we're going to secure that with the bobby pin. I thought this was the best option for me. Now off camera, I went ahead and added some of that wet product to the length of the hair. Um, and then I added a little bit of silky sheen and a little bit of a finishing spray for some shine and some hold. So hopefully you guys learned something from that quick tutorial. Um, I did bleach the knots. I used the BW Bleach and the 40 volume developer with the hair dye that I showed you in the video. The purpose of the hair dye, as I said in the video, is just to help to cancel out the redness you sometimes see in um, people's lace. 
and then I also used the purple shampoo which kind of double helped to make sure that my lace doesn't turn red on me because I really 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 hate the way that look and I feel like there's no really way to reverse it once it's red except for toning the lace by using purple or like a Wella toner or something like that but that was pretty much it I also let the lace um sit in some conditioner usually I'll just use any cheapy moisturizing conditioner and just let it sit in the hair for about 15 to 20 minutes while I like clean up the area and then I'll come back and rinse it out and let it air dry um as far as styling products I used my wet by Sebastian um this is the GPP brand I'll have it linked down below um but this stuff has been working awesome on my natural textures to help basically lock in the curl style the curls and lock that um style in and of course it helps it to keep that wet look even once it's dry like right now it's dry but it still looks wet um and that was pretty much it as far as styling the wig um the wig was pre-plugged so it looks pretty nice to begin with so I did not really mess with any tweezers or tweezing it or plucking it or anything like that um but I did like separate what was already um it came with pre-made baby hair so I separated that hair from the rest of the hair and I just kind of trimmed it a little bit above the eyebrow and kind of just swooped it all around mm -hmm. um, usually I do my baby hair a little bit differently but I've been seeing the trend with this kind of swoop going on lately so I've been trying it out to see if I like it or not and I mean I like it I think it's cool to switch it up sometimes and then I kind of really wanted to um spotlight the parting I guess you would say since I did go ahead and bleach the knots and this is a full lace wig I kind of wanted to um, go ahead and play on that and show as much of the parting space as possible of course I'm going to go back after this video probably tomorrow because it's getting late and actually make these a little bit tighter but it just got so late that I just was like you know what let's just keep them going even though they aren't twist that nice I might even turn them into braids I don't know but I like the fact that I have two big ones and two small ones I just want them to be a little bit more defined um and then maybe after if you don't like the bun you can keep it as a ponytail or you can kind of connect them here with either um, bobby pins or rubber bands and then take and split it into two and just make one part down the center and then do like two buns I think that would be nice instead of doing the bun up here or take it all back into a ponytail or you can just pin them back each one pin it back and then let it all hang down you can do different things to make this style really 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 cute but i really do like it so this wig is linked down below as well as the website um but before i forget this is a full lace wig it's indian remy um and it's a free part curly full lace human hair wig which you already knew um and yeah i think it's a pretty affordable price considering it is a full lace the hair itself was super healthy it didn't tangle or shed excessively at all and as you guys seen from the beginning it had a beautiful curl pattern so yeah i don't really have much more to say about this hair because it is beautiful it lays super flat and i haven't had any issues with it at all let me show you guys what it looks like from the back enjoyed this tutorial you guys have definitely been showing me so much love since i've been doing all of my reviews as tutorials of some sort that way you guys don't get too bored with me just talking about the hair and actually showing you like how to style it plus i feel like repetition kind of helps you guys to learn as well i feel like most of us are visual learners so when you see me do my baby hair every day um eventually it'll kind of program into your head how to do it yourself and hopefully it will help you guys so yeah i hope you guys loved this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and share it with your friends also don't forget to check out wake encounters i have all of the information listed in the description bar thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you guys in the next one